Oh, no, I know better than to compete with Christian Bale. I mean, I tried to on set. I created um, a challenge inside of my own head that I would memorize the Shakespeare scene before he did, and I lost. So I know better than to compete with Christian. <laughs> um, I didn't know much about Dick Cheney beforehand, and I knew even less about Lynn. Um, mm. What was the initial pull that made you want to take on this role? Initially, the script was so beautifully crafted, and I had been a big fan of the big short um, and sort of the direction that Adam has been going in his career was something that was really um, interesting to me. And I thought it would be a really amazing challenge. And um, so that was the initial pull was the script and Adam McKay, knowing um, that he would be directing it. And um, we have such a powerful introdu introduction to Lynn uh, when she's giving <laughs> um, Dick the ultimatum. Um, how frustrating do you think it was for an ambitious woman like her to be growing up in that time? Oh, it had to be very frustrating. But I, I feel that um, my sense of Lynn is that whatever her frustration was, she used as, as um, it was energizing to her. And she was definitely, from reading her um, autobiography, she would set very specific goals for herself and go about achieving them. So she always had sort of an internal drive that didn't need external validation. And I admired that about her, you know. And did I read that you also um, related her to your grandmother as well? Yeah, yes. There was something about her that um, reminded me of my grandmother. I think um, sort of the upbringing. My grandmother was raised on a uh, farm in Utah and sort of this pioneering spirit that Lynn talked about a lot with her upbringing. Yeah, and um, you mentioned the competition that you did with Christian with the um, learning the, <laughs> the Shakespearean prose, uh, which, yes. which is actually one of the, my favourite scenes in the film. Thank you, mine too. Um, just how impressive is he to work with? Oh, Christian's so impressive. I mean, it's not just his talent. It really is. He has his dedication and his um, commitment and his work ethic. I mean, here we have an actor who was in hair and makeup between three to six hours every single day, came to set, never complained, had a lot of energy, had great ideas, was very invested in each person he was speaking to. I'm always impressed and rarely surprised at how great he is because of how much energy he puts into each performance. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you mentioned Adam McKay before because you've worked with him on Talladega Nights, yeah. which is a yeah. pretty different film. It's a little different. <laughs> yeah. A little different. It's still about power, right? Yeah, absolutely you know? true. <laughs> um, right? Shake and bake. <laughs> yeah, shake and bake. Um, I, I rewatched it beforehand. It's such a great film. Um, has his directing style changed over the years? Um, because as we mentioned, his films certainly have. It's funny, actually, <laughs> it sounds strange, but the um, directing style, it's still the same sort of energy and the idea um, inside of the, the improv space, meaning he's open to ideas, he comes with a lot of ideas, he comes with different lines, um, different options, but I imagine it's, it's got to be a different level of research for him, but he's such a smart man and he's so well-read and so well-researched that any time I was stuck, any time he was looking for options, he always had um, a great direction to point me towards. He had that same energy in Talladega Nights. I think it's just sort of the subject matter. He's taken on more, um, more social subject matters. And um, I think a lot of people will be surprised about the knock-on effect Dick and Lynn Cheney have had, not just on politics, but the world mm. as we know it. Mm. Um, what do you want people to learn from the film and do you think or do you want them to relate it to our current political climate? I mean, I think each person going into the film is going to have a different response based on their personal experience with this time and this space in history. For me, what it reminded me is that it's important to pay attention to what's happening inside of our um, political structures, how decisions are being made. Um, I'm constantly... Uh, amazed the more that I learn about our, our governmental, um, the way our systems work. It's, it's amazing, and I think it's important for people to, to pay attention and to educate themselves in that way.